Treasure Oak. Whose team swings to the outside fifth. Ombro Papella sixth. At the half mile pole, Gramola in front by a length and a quarter. Nutty Buddy second. Half time is one minute flat. Around the clubhouse turn the final time. Gramola leads by a length and a half. Nutty Buddy second. With Grill now third. Cruz team rushing up on the outside fourth. Gary's going on the rail fifth. On Propeller alongside sixth. Down the back stretch. Gramola in front now by three and a half lengths. Cruz team coming on second. Nutty Buddy on the rail third. On Propeller the outside fourth. Grill now fifth with Gary's goal sixth. Three quarters. One thirty and three. Around the far turn, Gramola still leads by two and a half lengths. Cruz team second on Brook Papella, the outside third. Grill now on the inside fourth. They're at the head of the stretch. Gramola in front by three and a half, four lengths. Cruz team second, Grill now closing along the rail. Through the stretch, Gramola leads by three and a half lengths with Grill now and Cruz team. Gramola, Grill now closing along the rail. Gramola in front. Oh, you know what's the worst? They threw that, that tomato at you. Move to one three unofficially. You know, first Hudson Philly Division. And Gramola, three year old daughter of Super Gill, nine time winner last year, wins her first in eight starts in 1997. She's owned by the Glengate Farms of Campbellville, Ontario, trained by Bill Wellwood and driven to victory. By the Magic Man, Billy O'Donnell, 4, 1, and 3. So the two favorites will finish 1 and 2. 12 to 1 shot, adding some value to the ticket. And it's presentation time in our first Hudson Philly Division, race number 8 in the Yonkers Raceway. race proud to welcome the lovely Lisa Galterio to the winner's circle. And she will present the trophy to Paula Wellwood. Who helps Daddy Bill Wellwood? And, well, I guess when she comes here, she is actually the trainer. Makes the presentation to Gramola, who has lost the head number. And Lisa Galtierio presenting to Paula Wellwood and Billy O'Donnell. And then happy connections all around. We will get to the prices and spend a few minutes with the winning driver. Billy O'Donnell, 4 1 and 3, goes unofficial in our first Hudson Philly. We're back. Is the exact result. The winning combination numbers 4 and 1, $7.90. The big triple, 4 1 3, $41.40. Results up. Garamola, 4 20, 2 50, and 2 70. That is okay. 4 1, two favorites return $7.90. And the 4 1 3 8th race triple is good for $41.40. And the man who needs no introduction, but we'll give him one anyway because the FCC says so. Billy O'Donnell joins us in the winner's circle. I talked to Madam Wellwood before this race, and I asked her the difference between this horse between this year and last year. She said she's a bit hyper this year. How did you find her this evening? Well, she's she's been that way the whole year. She's she's a little bit hyper, but basically she just can go as much as she could last year. And some of the other ones are you know kind of stepped up a little bit, but uh, you know, that, that win did help her a little bit too. The way this race shaped up, two moves to the lead. You want a pretty good opening quarter, but from there, I don't know how much the wind that's kicking up here is any kind of a factor. But you're able to rate a very nice middle half with her. Yeah, no, you can't feel the wind a whole lot. I mean, it's, you know, gusting a little bit, but uh, well, she was comfortable. The track is really good tonight too. So she, you know, she was comfortable the whole way. Now let's take a look at the stretch. It is Gramola on the lead, Grill now up the inside, and Jimmy Martinez's trotter is going to sustain a, an uncovered bit on the outside and uh, opened up some daylight and measured it off. Well, she would, yeah, I, I let her go there to hit the stretch. She was getting a little bit tired, and uh, that's been the, the weak part of her here lately is the end of a mile. Over last year, she tried to put it all the way home, but she had enough just to hold on, so it worked out good. Billy Paul was looking at this as kind of a stepping stone as she gets ready for the Hamiltonian Oaks. Is this something that can kind of get her going back in the right direction? Well, hopefully, but, you know, no nonsense woman. She's really tough, and there's a couple other elegant inmates in this mare, and, you know, there's four or five tough ones, and now she gets a week off, and she can go uh, probably take her home, I guess they were talking about, back to Toronto and get her fresh enough and bring her back for the Oaks. Okay, Gramola wins the first Hudson Philly, uh, thanks to Billy O. We will look at the full race replay of race number eight, the second Hudson Philly, up at race number nine is Yonkers Raceway Live. Can you